like <laughs> Hello Ramona I can't shake the simplest feeling Beyond the ghost We stand on the opposite shore Hello Ramona Welcome back to another vlog. Michael and I are road tripping to Tahoe right now. I'm super excited. I've been in Tahoe in the summertime in so long, probably since I was like a kid. And I just have so many good childhood memories there. Like every summer, I think it was every summer, every other summer. I have a really big family, so I have like tons of cousins, aunts, and uncles. And we'd all go out to Tahoe and stay in one big house. And it was just so fun. And one of my cousins that I actually used to do that with is meeting us there. Her name is Dallas. You guys might have met her on the vlog. I don't really remember. But anyways, we're super excited. We just stopped by Sprouts to get some road trip snacks. We have about a two and a half hour drive. I'm gonna show you what I got. So on my Snapchat, I showed my new favorite cookie, which is Toro. And I just got this flavor. And sorry, I didn't even tell you what flavor that was. I just got the double chocolate chip flavor and then they also have this birthday cake one, which I've never tried either of these. I've always just got this one because I know like I'm just obsessed with it. But I was like, you know what? Might as well get all three of them. What is that? What are you eating? Hey, get that away from me. I'm allergic. I like these cookies. Um, Gentlemen, this is the only cookie you need right here. Come on. Right there. That's pure protein, baby. Let's go. No. Anyways, um, I, oh, I got more cookies. <laughs> so I got more of these cookies because these are just such good like late night snacks and you just want a couple. And I didn't know if the grocery stores in Truckee slash Tahoe would have this brand. So I bought it anyways. Um, then I also just got a Mountain Valley water and that's it. Hello Ramona I mistook you for a dream The engine glows We just got to our wonder house. It's called the Tahoe Slopes. You guys, the views are just insane. The house has these like giant windows with just the trees and the silhouettes of the mountains in the back. Like this is a dream. If you know anything about me, you know I'm obsessed with nature and just forests. And this house just feels like it's such like a indoor outdoor experience. And which you know I love that. Like I told you guys earlier, I have the best memories in Tahoe growing up and I'm so grateful to be partnering with Wander for a trip. Houses on Wander are my favorite because they always look like the photos. They always have some sort of workstation for you so you don't have to work at the kitchen table. And for me, since I'm a content creator, I'm always editing things and it's so nice just to have a desk with me so I can work on the go. Also, the Wander team is super speedy when it comes to replying to text. So if you have any questions or concerns, they'll reply to you right away. There's so many locations for you to choose from. So next time you plan a trip, definitely check out Wander because I think that they have the best houses. I'll leave a link in the description box below if you want to check out Wander. Anyways, I'm going to give you a little house tour. So here's the view outside of the Wander property. And here is what the house looks like. It is so cool. It's made out of like cement, wood, and then also shipping container and a ton of glass for the windows. Um, there's lots of parking, which is nice if you bring friends with you like we did. You walk up the steps, there's a little fire pit, which is fun. So as you walk in, there's the dining room right here. There's a living room with a smart TV so you can watch Netflix, Hulu, whatever you like. Here's a fully stocked kitchen. There's a stove, a toaster oven, a big fridge, freezer, everything you could need. Plus, look at how cute this window is. I love it. So here's one of the bathrooms with a dual vanity sinks and a full-size shower 
and then a toilet over here. As you walk down the hallway, to the left you have a workstation. There's cameras above the computer screens. There's even a little mic if you need that. And there's my mic. Hi, fam. <laughs> How are we doing? Good. I'm giving him a house tour. You want to show him our room? Here is a master. There's some sick houses in this neighborhood. I know, right? Yeah. It's yeah, so awesome. nice. Really cool. And here is the there master be some bathroom. Weird, weird trimmings in this. <laughs> Sorry. Noted. <laughs> Um, there's a toilet, a full-size shower, and you come down the hallway, and we have a room with bunk beds. Here's the third bedroom. It's a queen size. I'm obsessed with the wood on this ceiling. And then you walk into the living room and go down the stairs to the bottom level. Down here, we have this super cozy room where we're gonna watch movies on this big smart TV, maybe play some games also a bathroom down here a full bathroom a shower a toilet everything there's also two more workstations down here which is nice in case there's multiple people that need to work and in here there's a mudroom with two washers and dryers so you all know how much i love to work out and how i've been into the sauna recently well this wander home has some cardio equipment they have a full sauna then they have some weights over here. And through this door is a two-car garage. So we're gonna get some dinner now. Then I think we're gonna go to the grocery store and maybe come back and play games or something. friends it's the first day in Lake Tahoe we are probably gonna go hiking and then maybe go to the beach I definitely want to spend some time in water so yeah we're gonna get ready for the day for that also a food update we don't have any groceries here yet obviously because we just got here last night and so I had a Toto cookie for breakfast and I actually feel really good after eating it because usually I will feel like kind of sick after eating something sugary in the morning, but the ingredients are so clean in that cookie and the macros are really good. I actually feel like pretty satisfied and I feel like I'll be good until we go and get some lunch or something. I'm also going to give you an update on my mold toxicity. So I've been taking this thing called Spornox. I don't even think I've told you guys this. That's crazy. But just recently, I got on a pretty heavy medication, an antifungal medication, to just help knock out the mold because my levels are supposed to be under 25, but they're at like 2,300 or something like that. And that's like extremely high. Like most people are in like the 30 to 50 range when they start to feel their symptoms. Um, so since mine are so high, I got on this medication called Sporanox, and I've definitely been having some weird side effects, like I feel like all my limbs are like tingling sometimes, and I feel just like really weak. The brain fog has been absolutely terrible, um, but it's okay, I'm just taking that as like die-off symptoms, like maybe that's just the mold, Be mold being killed and it's releasing its toxins, so... Here it is. It's these blue pills and I have to take two, two times a day. It's not really weird for me to like take a prescription medication because I've been so against it. But to be honest, I've been like fighting this for so long and my levels just keep getting higher and higher. But I'm getting to the point to where it's doing more damage to my body than if I were to just take a prescription medication. You know, like that's the way I'm going to see it to be honest. Because... I don't know i feel like when you have mold toxicity in your body for a long time it can turn into a lot of scary things like an autoimmune disease 
there's been cases of cancer there's just all of these things that can happen so I'm just gonna take matters into my own hands plus you can transfer all your toxins to your child so it's really important to me to get rid of everything that's going on in my body before we have kids so i'm trying to just be really proactive about it even if it means taking prescription medicine but thankfully my doctor said my liver enzymes are really good and i don't really drink or anything like that so i feel like i'm a good candidate for it but I'm going to keep you updated with how I feel. Like I said earlier, so far the symptoms are really bad. I feel like I can't like think a thought through. Um, and yeah, I could fall asleep at any moment to be honest. I'm going to take these and then get ready for a day. Hello friends. We are about to go to the lake. So we're going to do a little OOTP. So mine, top is from Brandy. Bikini is from Frankie's. Skirt is from... Urban Outfitters, I think. And then bag is from Durf Avenue. And then the flip flops are just like black coffee on What is yours, Tessa? <laughs> no shoes, because I don't have any flip flops. These are BDG from Urban Outfitters. Cute. GGC bikini and Amazon. Cute. <laughs> and Dallas. Okay. Mine, my bathing suit's from Bomba Swim. My top is from Aritzia. And my shorts are vintage Levi's. I have no idea where I kept it. Where's your jewelry from? Um, hand chain from Amazon. This is from Amazon. This is like a permanent bracelet. My grandma's from Justin. Um, and then a cross ring from Amazon. My necklaces are all from Amazon. So, okay. love <laughs> To the beach we go. My skin could not handle that, so cookies it is. So change of plans. We tried to get into Sand Harbor, however we couldn't because they only have a certain amount of cars. So we actually found a place for a boat rental. And you don't need a boater's license, which is really nice because none of us do. A couple of the people in our group know how to drive a boat, we just don't have the license. So we're gonna go and boat around to all the pretty little coves and beaches. Maybe do some paddle boarding. I honestly think this is way better. That way we can go wherever we want. Like I know when I was younger we used to go to this little island that had this like old castle on it. And that was really fun so it'd be cool to go there. But we'll see. 87 feet of clarity this year. Is there any questions before we get underway? Yeah. Right on the lake. Diamond Peak has good views of the lake. Baseball. Yes. Uh, driving. <laughs> driving. 
Got done with our leg day and now we are heading into Safeway to pick up some groceries. We're gonna cook some dinner at the Wander House. We might do some steaks and a salad. up we got to get out of here kind of early Michael has to catch a flight because he's going back to Nashville and I'm actually driving back with my cousin to Sonoma County I'm gonna stay an extra week because I have my other cousin's bridal shower and I felt like it'd be too much like flying back and forth so I'm just gonna stay in Sonoma County my friend Sophie might come out to visit me so the checkout process is really easy. All we have to do is shut the windows and the doors and make sure they're locked. We don't have to strip the sheets or put the towels in a pile, so that's super nice. Also, we had a little problem with the fire pit on the deck, and so I messaged the concierge and they were super, super helpful, super quick to reply. They sent someone out here and fixed it right away, so that was really nice. But anyways, thank you so much for watching.